Sustainable Circular Economies, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 309. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 309, February 24th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, and cities as a pathway to global sustainability. We're creating a global cooperative, and today what I want to talk about is sustainable circular economies. Because circular economies is a big part of what one community is creating. If you're not familiar with circular economies, the <coughs> excuse me textbook definition of them, which I have right in front of me, is a circular economy is an alternative to a traditional linear economy, which is a make, use, dispose economy. And in a circular economy, we keep resources in use for as long as possible, extract the maximum value from them whilst in use, then recover and regenerate products and materials at the end of each service life. And the way that one community is applying this is through... Systems, systems of efficiency and recycling and completely sustainable construction methods. And so if you look at what's happening in the background of this video right now, you can see the housing foundation of the sustainable circular economies that we're proposing, which is in the form of seven different sustainable village models, plus a community center, a duplicable open source, duplicable community center designed to be built and then build villages around that. <coughs> and all of these, excuse me, are designed to use sustainable building methods to incorporate recycling and to also incorporate sustainable energy infrastructure, sustainable food infrastructure, highest good approaches to economic models, education models, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. And putting all this stuff together to demonstrate sustainable circular economies that incorporate all aspects of life complete cooperative and collaborative living where people are working together to see how we can get the most out of everything that it is that we use, recycle and repurpose everything that we possibly can, and to live in as much integrity and sustainable, ethical, holistic approach to life as we can imagine. And so we call this living and creating for the highest good of all because it is our idea to do the absolute best and we're not saying that we know for sure what the highest good of all is, but what we are saying is that we are committed to the process of living and creating for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet as a pathway to global sustainability and creating open source, do-it-yourself, free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for everything that it is that we're creating. So it can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. And so we can demonstrate this idea of sustainable circular economies as something that is a part of a lifestyle that we think most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And so we call this an evolution of sustainability. We take the physical foundations of sustainability that everybody's aware of and familiar with, which are food, energy, and housing. We combine them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which I just listed off, high school education models, fulfilled living models, high school economic models, and truer stewardship. We put these things together and we demonstrate what a complete circular economy lifestyle looks like, a resource-based economy, but also a circular economy economy so that everything that we're doing, all the packaging that is brought onto the property, all of the construction materials that aren't used for the specific construction, all of those things are constantly being repurposed and reused or saved for successive villages so that no so as little as weight, as little waste as possible is created. And we think that we can do this in such a way that there will be virtually zero waste. And so this is a big part of what one community is creating. This is our idea for sustainable circular economies by make to make them accessible to the general, the average person. So the average person with average means can get together with 40 of their friends, build a sustainable community and completely change their living paradigm. Incorporating sustainable circle, circular economies in the way that works best for them, but demonstrated by us as a complete model. And so we want to show people that are interested in being totally sustainable and living in complete integrity with their environment, how that can be done. And by bringing together people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, we think that that is the key to doing that. 
by bringing together all people that are committed to this idea, we believe that we can solve these challenges and demonstrate ways of living that are innovative, new, but built on practices that are already tried and true, while simultaneously creating new practices that people might not have seen yet, new ways to recycle things, new ways to repurpose things, and open sourcing and free sharing the whole process so anybody who likes what it is that we're doing can come to one community, visit one community, experience what it is, stay in an earth bag home, stay in a shipping container home, stay in a cob village, stay in a treehouse village, stay in a recycled materials village or compressed earth block village. And if you like that experience, take the plans and be able to replicate it for yourself, either as an individual home or as the complete teacher demonstration hub big enough to house 50, 100, 200 people, 300 people, or even more at a time in a truly sustainable circular economy that is replicable anywhere. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable circular economies. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created version one of the most sustainable urinal options page. This included formatting, social media imagery, and adding the best two urinals we found plus all the best choices for the cleaning and odor fighting blocks. You can see some of this work here. Heyminth Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 30th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week, he created a spreadsheet that determines nail density between the Earthbag courses. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 38th week helping with Earthbag Village render additions. This week, he began work on the main Earthbag Village render by improving colors, fixing plants, and replacing the sky. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 150 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was modeling a tabletop grill and continuing with texture testing and updates. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued with week seven of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the duplicate city center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week, we explored a new information source, created our first dam in 3D, and added new graphics and content to the chart we've created sharing the various kinds of applications for dams. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued building the new page sharing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, stains, varnishes, and sealants. This week we added the best choices for sustainable primers, which you can see here. And the core team began the process of modeling the new duplical city center interior design details. Here you can see our outlines of everything needed and final updates to the cost analysis sheet. And here are the first renders from the process where we placed the polished floor design, designed the curved sitting area and benches, and created and added the bookshelf details. The core team also completed our final review of the lighting plan for the city center. This included identifying any final missing dialects files, final updates to the lighting spreadsheet, double checking everything was correct in AutoCAD, and that all of these correlated with the content on the website. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their ninth week helping with the duplicate city center interior design details. This week's focus was the initial concept board shown here for the social dome and main public restrooms. In addition, David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, continued helping finish the city center HVAC designs. This week, he finished the first complete draft of the HVAC tutorial. You can see some of his behind-the-scenes work here. Last but not least, Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, continued with her second week helping with the duplical city center structural details. This week's focus was continuing the process of removing all the non-structural lines and components in AutoCAD and adding in missing ones. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, 
and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. We watched videos on goat care and fencing, created our initial drawing for the size of the goat pen, and organized and detailed the related equipment, materials, and information into a timeline for implementation. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his eighth week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 20th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was refactoring the sustainability, water-saving toilets, and water-saving shower heads keyword strategies. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Jordan Miller, web developer, Tyler Calvert, full-stack software engineer, and Justin Coots, software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team completed the admin view on the teams and projects pages, finished the UI for user management, started discussing aesthetic upgrades, and chose some initial color palettes, further developed the time entries options, and fixed all the folder and component names. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable circular economies. If you'd like to see more details, specifics, links, to all of the open source content, everything related to what we've talked about in this video and so much more, visit our website. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page and there's lots of different ways to help out, ranging from joining the team, donating. Of course, the easiest way to help out is to subscribe to our YouTube channel or to visit us on social media, join any of our social media networks. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Facebook, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Of course, sharing our information is a great way to help out. Uh, if you're somebody who's donated to our project, thank you for that. If you're somebody who's just uh, commented on our videos or sent us an email, thank you for that. Uh, or suggestions, we appreciate those. Every little bit makes a difference. Even just watching to the end here makes a difference. So whatever way that you're supporting us, we are grateful. Thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for your support. Thanks if you donated to our project. We're 100% volunteer, unpaid team. So every donation goes 100% towards uh, forwarding our mission, helping us with our open source goals and creative process and makes a big difference. And uh, I think that's it. So until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.